Hi, my name is Gareth Brown from Rich Games for Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you a perimeter and area game. It helps students understand the concepts of perimeter and area, what the differences are, and how they relate to each other. All you need to play is grid paper, coloured pencils, and a die. Okay, here's how to play. Now, the game is called Hayfields. The aim of the game is to take up as many spaces as possible with your own hay spaces. And for a hay space to count, it has to be fully enclosed with your own fence. Now, players take in turns rolling the die. And whichever number they roll, that's how many fence spaces or hay spaces they can use. So, I rolled a five, which can be the blue player. And they're going to start by doing three fence spaces. Now, a fence space takes up one side of a square. So that's one fence space. They're going to put in three. So you go one, two, three. Three fence spaces. Now with the other two that they've got left, they're going to put in a hay space. <clears throat> to do a hay space, you need to colour in one full square. Now you can only put a hay space where on two sides of that hay space, you have either your own fence space or another hay space. For example, I can make this square a hay space because on two sides there's a fence space. One, two. I can now make this space a hay space because on one side there's a fence and on the other side is another hay space. So there was at least two things uh, that were in my own colour or in blue's colour. I wouldn't be allowed to do a hay space over here because there's absolutely nothing else surrounding it. And I wouldn't be able to just do a hay space here either because there's only one thing on one side of mine um, right next to that hay space and you need at least two. Okay, Red's turn. And Red's going to has only rolled a two. So they can only do two fence spaces and they're going to start up here. One, two. So now at this point of the game, blue has an entirely closed field. So any hay space of theirs within that field can be counted as their own. So And they've got 18 hay spaces inside this field. So blue now have 18 points. <clears throat> Red, you can see, has lots of hay spaces, but they're not in an enclosed field because you can see there's a gap here in the fence. So they cannot count any of these hay spaces just yet. They need to fully enclose this fence before they can count any hay spaces. Now here you can see that red have started expanding their fence out here, but blue has been a little bit cheeky and is starting to build their field right in the red player's field. Now blue is allowed to do this. They're allowed to do that. And red can't actually finish their fence by going this way. So the only way red can now complete a field to make the most of all these hay spaces is by cutting across here to complete the fence. Now in this example, blue has now completely closed off this field. So they can count one, two, three, four, five, six hay spaces in there. And it looks like red has closed off this field, but they haven't because this one fence actually belongs to the blue player. So they haven't closed it off yet, so they cannot count any of those spaces. Same with this little field in here. Uh, because blue has one, two, three of their fences as part of this little field, red can't count those hay spaces either. To count these red hay spaces, Red could build a fence there and there, once they rolled the right number. Now they have a fully enclosed field, because they've just cut the corner there. So they can now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 hay spaces. Now I've drawn this to show you an example of what happens if someone completes a complete field... Uh, but there's the other player has maybe some fence and hay spaces within that field. So in this case, blue 
has closed off the whole field. So they can count every one of their own hay spaces within that field, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They can count those. Red can't count any of these because they haven't enclosed those two spaces using their fence. But what they can do, if they rolled a 3 or higher, red could still build the fence inside. 1, 2, 3. Now that they've enclosed this little field inside blue's bigger field, they can count one, two hay spaces as their own. So they're the rules of the game. Players keep playing, uh, maybe give themselves a time limit, 10, 15 minutes or something like that. Once the time runs out, whoever has the most hay spaces that we've added up here is the winner. So in this case, red has 25 complete hay spaces and blue has... 36, so blue is the winner with 36 complete hay spaces. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you find hay fields beneficial for your students. If you've got any suggestions or anything you'd like to add about the game, then please leave a comment and share it with other people over the internet. Thank you.